हेलो वेलकम टू वॉच द साइंस विद मितुल ठाकुर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल्स ऑल ऑफ अस ईट फूड ग्रीन प्लांट्स कैन सिंथेसाइज देयर फूड एनिमल्स टेक फूड ऑल एनिमल्स इंक्लूडिंग ह्यूमन बीइंग्स टेक फूड फूड इज रिक्वायर्ड टू गेट एनर्जी हाउ डू वी गेट दिस एनर्जी फ्रॉम फूड As we know that animals are consumers they are also called heterotrophs animals depend upon plants or other animals for their food depending upon the way of taking food animals are divided into three categories the one is holozoic animals second is saprophytic animals and the third one is parasitic animals Holozoic animals it is the mode of nutrition in which animals take solid food small or large particles are taken through mouth food is simplified with the help of enzyme then simplest form of food are absorbed by body holozoic nutrition involves five processes ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and egestion ingestion intake of food is called ingestion some animals ingest through mouth example man cow snake amoeba ingest through pseudopodium paramecium have ciliary system to ingest food digestion it is the breakdown of complex food materials into simplest forms with the help of enzymes carbohydrates convert into glucose proteins convert into amino acids and fats convert into fatty acids absorption after the digestion the digested digested food material is absorbed to the blood assimilation it is the process in which digested food is converted into living protoplasm by cells digestion it is the process in which undigested food is removed out of the body undigested materials are eliminated out of the body in the form of feces saprophytic animals or saprophytic nutrition in animals it is the mode of nutrition in which organisms depend on dead and decaying material for the food requirements these organisms are called saprophytes or saprobes bacteria are the example parasitic animals or parasites or parasitic nutrition in animals it is the mode of nutrition in which organisms depend on other living organisms for their food requirements they live on hosts and hosts do not get any benefit from parasites ascaris and tapeworm are the examples thank you for more video updates on video lessons powerpoint slides live online tutoring in science subscribe my channel thank you have a nice day